What's up? This is Tasha Diva. You listen to The Loud Spot with Sebastian. Hey, see you later. What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Loud Spot. I'm your host, Sebastian Cosby, right out of Oklahoma City. Today, we have a rap artist, Tasha Diva, out of Charlotte. What's up, girl? What's up, y'all? It's Tasha Diva on your screen. Y'all know what time it is. Let's eat it. <laughs> there we go. And then we got Sam McIntosh here. What's up, Sam? What's up? How you doing? It's doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to have Tasha Diva on the podcast. I really don't remember how I came across your page, but I think it popped up on Facebook. And so I clicked on it, and you're like doing some dancing. Like you're, I think you do a lot of freestyle dancing on your Facebook live videos, right? I do a lot of freestyle dancing. I just play my music, I turn up. I think I know how you found me. Okay. <laughs> I shoot the live video a lot in a lot of the Facebook groups. So I think that's how you found me. Probably so, because I think I went, if you got shit to the hip-hop page at all, I probably went on that page and was scrolling through. Because I'm trying to get some different artists on here. As you may not know, but Sam and I know, we normally play like different genres of rock music and some pop music we're getting into. And I really want to get into hip-hop and rap. And when I saw that you said you were doing, you're freestyling your own song, that's when I said, hold on, let me look this person up on Apple or Spotify. And then I saw that you actually did have your own songs. Oh, my own, my own everything, original, yes. How long have you, how long have you been doing music for? I've been doing music for seven years, rapping, right okay. in rapping. But I've always been around music my whole life. <laughs> but I really started getting serious by doing showcases and everything like that. Um, I started my first showcase when I was in Connecticut. Uh, and I just took it from there. So you're originally from you're originally from New York, right? Right, Strong Island, Long Island. Long Island. Right. You don't have the New York accent. I, you know what? I don't really know what kind of accent I have because like <laughs> it's all mixed in. It's all it's, it's just mixed with everything. I don't know. <laughs> you, you, just, don't know. you just have the regular. You have like just like kind of a normal accent. I think I don't know, but I do want I do want to ask you one question. I think it's important for. All of your viewers to know, when you say you're a dancer, everyone automatically assumes that you're a stripper. Stripper. They think I'm <laughs> right. lying down a pole every time I say that I'm a dancer. <laughs> let's, let's set the you story know, straight. I've touched I, a pole I, before in my life. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand why, the, like, dancer, the term dancer has become automatically stripper. No matter what, if it's a female. Right. Now, if a guy says, hey... I'm a dancer. Like, if I went around saying I'm a dancer, people damn well know I'm not a stripper. <laughs> His body does not strip. His body does not strip. So, it's like you have to explain what kind of dancer you are. I'm a, I'm a hip-hop dancer, freestyle hip-hop dancer, and I do some Bolesky dancing so, sometimes, too. But hip-hop dancer. Wait, what's Bolesky? I've never but heard that's of that. Okay. Bolesky is more, like, more sexy, lingerie, chair dancing, and stuff like that. Oh. So, so do you do you do you think that because you're a little bit risk like uh, what's the word I would use like risque or provocative on on some of your posts, people might assume that you, the music you're doing that you might be a stripper. And we're setting the story straight: she is not a stripper. Never touched the pole. You respect <laughs> the artist Tasha Diva. She is fire, man. I love your songs. I bet you the no no. We can probably playing Cardi B for this because she was a stripper and then became a right, rap right. artist. And, and so now everyone that. thinks I don't have I don't have no. anything 
It's strippers. No, I have, there's nothing wrong. Support single moms. <laughs> Get, your money. Get your money, you know? Where them dollars at? Hey, it's money. Yeah. It's, yes. I would say it's better than, than selling drugs. Uh, you know, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I work with those guys, too. Do what you Whatever you gotta do. Where do you get your inspiration from as far? Because I'm not big into like the whole hip hop and rap scene. So this is all new to me. So like with, with bands, I know what questions to ask. Because like, you know, but with someone like you, I really don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing anyways. <laughs> but with you, I, so like, were you, in, do you have like someone that you followed and you're like, you know, I kind of want to be like this person or do you just have your own motivation? Well, growing up, I've been inspired by Nicki Minaj, you know, stuff like that. Um, Beyonce, Ciara, and definitely looked up to Beyonce and Ciara, them two, of course. But I have my own style. Everything about me is my own style. You know, I love what they do. I love, I always try to follow, like, their dance moves and stuff like that. But I still have my own style of dancing and everything that I do. That's important to do that. It's important to stay yourself. What would be your style? What is that style? Well, you, got- you can put it in the box because I'm just so different. So you can- yeah, you <laughs> are. I'm just you light, are full of light. You are different, and when I see you, when I, I once that Facebook video live hits, I can see your whole personality. Like, I don't know what it's like before you hit that live button, but once that live button goes, I'm sure your personality just changes, and now you're in you're in artist mode. And now you're in content creator mode and you want people to see what you're doing. And is there like a switch that happens when you push that live button? Yeah, well, when I turn it on, I'm just like high off life. I'm like, you know, my fans are watching. I love to entertain them and they love it too. So I just love the fact that they love what I do and that, and they come back and they always tell me, I can watch your live all day. I love watching you. That just makes me just want to just go even harder. And it's like, yeah, just give them everything. Give them my all. So Yeah, poor Sebastian, in order for him to get going, there's a, several different things he's got to do. There's usually some kind of geriatric medicine that you should have <laughs> an hour to it. Probably about four uh, Chardonnays. Um, usually has to get going in, inside of us. <laughs> See, I knew you were drinking. Always drinking. Yeah, that's why. Uh, and yeah, that's and, and, and what you gotta do. I'm just high yeah. off light. <laughs> oh. Well, everyone thinks he smokes, but he doesn't smoke. <laughs> I'm not a smoker. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a smoker. Have you ever been like really upset at somebody, like just kind of pissed off, but you knew you had to go live, so you went live, and then boom, you're like yeah. Tasha Diva all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, plenty of times. You know what that's called? Last time I spilled water all over my Apple lap, laptop, and I was just like, oh, hey, y'all. I like that nothing happened. My laptop was dying. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to talk about your song, See Me Dance. When did this song come? This Is a, is this one of your newer songs? This is what, yes, one of my new ones. It's on iTunes right now. It's going to be on my new album called Girls Just Want to Have Fun. And, Everyone loves See Me Dance. It's a party song. It's it's everything. When did this song come out in 2020? It did. It was released 2020. Okay. Late 20. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna play this song, then I wanna talk about how you make your beats, production, and all that good stuff. But I'm gonna play See Me Dance right now by Tasha Diva, and she is a diva. <laughs> Like a fight. If he with you, he gonna sleep tight. If he with me, he gonna 
see me dance and you you called it out i said i got two lines in the well one line i particularly liked and it's i put the hot sauce in the freezer freezer and you already knew that was the line i was gonna say yeah that's everyone's favorite everyone tells me that they send me in my deep maybe in my dm hot sauce in the freezer and they love that one i do like the mama mia tasha d like that whole beat like that did, did you come up with that all yourself the flow of the lyrics? Yeah, sure did. Yep. So who writes your beats? CGF Bronze. C- CGF, CGF what? CGF Bronze is okay. his name. Okay, and he writes, he, he writes all your beats. Does he also produce your music and record you and all that good stuff? Yep. Yep, okay. in-house producer. So when so when you go and I see like you have a booking, like the email, you, the email that I have for you is a booking email. When you do get booked, like what kind of shows or venues, I guess, do you play at mostly? Or are you doing anything right now with COVID? No, no, no COVID right now. It's not shutting me down. I've done shows. I did a show. I did one show last year in um, South Carolina. It was a showcase. But it slowed down just a little bit. But, you know, I'm still. You're still. Do, do, still do, you, do you do more Facebook live videos now? Because of the lockdown and things, do you find yourself like doing more live videos just to get your yeah. name out there, constant content? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the shows did slow down, so I'd be on live, even on like Instagram Live, Instagram Live, Sasha Diva, Facebook Live, I'd be on there. Yesterday, I was on Facebook Live and Instagram Live one day. <laughs> Damn! I have so- people hit me up for the song. I have people do hit me up. What? What? Okay, so I hit you up on Facebook Messenger. Saying, hey, I have a podcast, I want to be on the podcast, and immediately I thought to myself, she's never going to see this message, she probably gets a hundred dudes a day messaging her, and then, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm not trying to get at you, I'm just trying to get you on a podcast. You want me to tell you why? You, you stood out from everybody else? Why? Because they were, you didn't send me a dick pic, that's why. <laughs> that's you know, that's because that when he he only he does that the second time around. The first time he's a, he's a he's a gentleman. The first time he will not he that's will not the, send it. The second time, dick pic. That's the reason why. You literally just get guys sending you their dick pictures like without even talking to them. Like they're just like, here's my dick. 